Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Crafter Gaming here with another how-to video. And today I'll be showing you tips and tricks on using junk rat. So, as you can see, I'm at the um practice arena, well, the practice area, so I can show you the basic um working inner functions and stuff of junk rat. So, first and most importantly, we have his classic grenade, his like grenade launcher. That's obviously done with um with the first left mouse trigger. So this is very good for um doing damage in a large crowd or something. So if you like hit between them, it'll kind of bounce. But the point is, it's like a like. It will do damage, it's better on a hit, so you really need to practice your aiming. And realize that there is some drop, so, yeah, actually it's not that bad. So don't, but just try and hit them more than anything, see I like aim for the hit, and it's the bottom, so there is drop, so you do want to keep care of that, but the most important thing to remember with Junkrat is, um, is aiming. You really need to practice aiming because when you hit them, it does a lot of damage, but if you don't hit them, it really doesn't do as much damage. And the next ability, and probably the best ability, well, besides the ultimate, is you throw down the line, and you have to activate it yourself. An enemy cannot walk over this and activate it. You have to do your right trigger and it'll give knockback and it'll give knockback it won't necessarily kill them if they're weak it might kill them so that's good to know also good to note that the grenades are kind of bouncy so you could like ricochet them off walls just an idea and anyway so the mine this is very helpful for using an ability that's probably unique to only Junkrat. It's a mind jump. And basically what you do is you slow it down, run, and activate it as you jump, and get launched in the air. As you can see, I did not make it that time, but you can't always try again because they're really fast. See, I even got higher. So, it's pretty helpful if you need to get a little farther, I mean closer, to an enemy, or this is good if you need to escape. So if I can get this guy And do a bit of damage. Hit him. Oh. Try and hit into a room. If an enemy goes into a room, try and hit into the doorway. So, you want to hope that one of the grenades ricochets off and hits them. But it really is not that easy to hit. You have to really calculate. That's I hit one into there even though I didn't know where specifically it was and hit him. So, we're gonna rock and jump. I'm not rocking. Oh, this we're gonna mind jump over yeah. to here again to show you their next ability. His next ability, which is in fact um, sort of a trap. It's called the steel trap, yes. And what this will basically do is this will temporarily trap. Oh. So if I hit that there, it'll alert you that you trapped it. I need to have a right Whatever you want to them all the time to trap, before the trap breaks, of course. So let's try this. If I want to do that, then I could maybe put it, blow it up, and they're gone. So, Junk Rat is very good for like laying traps. I would suggest doing these around corners, especially the steel trap. It's like up there. The hunter lays a trap for his prey. Okay. So like, um, let me see where this guy goes. Yeah, yeah. So like, you'd want to do it like Stop right there. this one before. Or there we right go. here. Of course, that's easy to see, but if you do it around a corner, a sharp turn corner like this. It will be harder for him to see. Because I do really step in it, Mike. 
so it's very helpful for using this, that strategy. It also helps your teammates if, like, you're trying to get someone, you can um, trap them, and your teammates can um, kill them, do some damage. You may, you don't necessarily have to be alive for this to work, so that's helpful. And also important to note that you can drop, you can actually throw mines, but I'd say pretty far, so if I- Oh, just leave see, us here! See, they went all the way over there. <laughs> you can try and hit them. See, see, the bomb bounced. So it's important to note that these bombs are very bouncy. Like, You'll very. Love I can throw this mine all the way over there, and this bomb can like, bounce off that. Right over there. So let's see if I can. <laughs> yeah. The um trick I suggest doing with Junkrat is just practicing hitting your target, whether it's on a bounce or not. Yeah, he does stick. He does most of the damage on these kind of hits. So I can. All characters are important to keep moving. Stay still. And just accept that you're not gonna be hitting people. You're really cool. But um, if you like, um, if you're like over here and you know there's bad guys over there, you can just shoot them into the air. And this is a good way to just possibly get a kill. See, see, I hit them. So now when my teammates get there before me, they already have someone injured that needs. Yeah. Hit him in air. So that's a good way of using that. Now, um, we have the ultimate, which I will say is pretty cool. So, if basically what you do is, I'd say it's more helpful to go up onto a ledge, so you're less likely to die. But don't worry, once the ultimate is activated, you. You can die, but it won't affect the ultimate, as long as it's activated. So what I'm trying to say is, he, let me show you what the ultimate is. So I activate it twice, I can jump, I can turn it, and when I left click near a person, it will blow up. Everything I worked so hard so, for is if going I happened to be die flames. while I was controlling the ultimate, it would not affect um, the entire, it would only affect that when it blew up, I would in fact be dead. Now it's important to remember that with the tire, you do have a limited time. You can't, you gotta make, this is what makes it tricky to use, cause you gotta make sure you're close, but not too close. So like, you don't wanna be, you could be here, but you're most likely gonna die, and that's not good, you wanna sort of, that's why I suggest using an aerial view, because it allows you to let, like, least, le you're less likely to get, um, injured, and if you do, you'll have to probably have time to activate it. So I'm going to show you one more time what happens. I'm going to show you what happens when you get to, um, let, or, you, you can't find a target. So you want to make sure, like McCree, that I'd say just a, um, good amount of people around, because if there's not, this is very, not very helpful. So you, Fire in the hole! so you see I have 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it blows up on its own. So you want to make sure you can reach, um, the person you're trying to kill. That's so another cool thing you can do is I suggest oh, this as a strategy is launching up. It's kind of like the Pharah ability. It's sort of like getting, it's sort of like hitting people while you're in the air. Oh, that's a good spot. So that's very good. now. You're facing a jump rat. If in any case you're facing a jump rat. You have to make sure in that time when his grenade is um launch, you gotta make sure you gotta try and get out of the way as much as you can. Because Junkrat is 
very, um, does a lot of damage, and if you get hit, it won't be nice. You also, whenever you're playing a game with the enemy Junkrat, you have to look around corners and keep an eye out. You cannot forget that he can, um, launch you in the air and injure you without... The hunter lays a trap for his And prey. as you can see, after the, um, trap and bomb reload, uh, you can replace them. This one will disappear, um, uh, this one will disappear if I move it here. <laughs> so if you mess Stop up, you just have to wait this one for the cooldown to finish. Then you can use it again. So, that's important to note. It's also important to note that, um, enemies can't break these. That's another reason you want to make, put them around the corner. I'm pretty sure they can break the concussion mine. I'm not completely sure though, but I'm positive they can break these. So be careful with those. They're very obvious. Anyway, so while well, facing a jump right, you want to look around corners. And I'd say the best anti is probably a sniper class, because you do not want him to see you. you if he sees you, and you're close enough, like Soldier 76, he, could, he has to be like pretty, not too close, but he has to be um pretty close, like enough for Junkrat to throw, hit, shoot a grenade at him. So you don't want to be that close, you want to be far away. Um, there is of course dodging the concussion mines and using your abilities, whatever they are, but just be careful because junk rats are crazy. They're like, yeah, that they're explosive, um, very deadly. So, this bomb's for you. I'd say about that is it. I'm going to show you one more time. The tire. Fire in the hole. And junk, you just um, double kill. Oh, to jump, you just use space. But it's also important to note that your tire does have help. So when you're facing a junk rat, it is helpful to know that you can shoot it. It has a hundred health. So you can technically, you can technically destroy it, but it does go pretty fast. So you want to be careful and try whenever you hear fire in the hole, you want to try and get out of the way or get to an area where you can see where the tire is going. And I think that's about it, guys. So I hope this helped you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.